Hey everyone, so I know it's been a while since my last video and I'm sorry, or better yet, in Japanese. Sumimasen. Which by the way is probably the most used word in Japan. Um, I was saying before as I was saying before, I just got lazy honestly. Like uh, I stopped making videos because I had to focus on um, my finals around mid-December. And then after that I went traveling for two weeks. I went to the Philippines, uh, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And then when I got back around the beginning of January, I just I just didn't make anything, so and I just kept going on that cycle. But I started spring break, which is about two months, a few days ago, so I figured it'd be a nice opportunity for me to jump back into it and have something to do. Um, let's see, I had taken you before to shrines, temples, and a garden, and I figured that, and I, and I was trying to think of what else to show, but I totally forgot the most basic thing, which is where I live, which, you know, it's the same thing, essentially. But there's a few differences I think that I'm definitely going to miss when I go back home. And you know, it'd be kind of neat to kind of see what an apartment here is, or a dorm. So let's take a look. This is my desk. My mom, when she sees this, will probably tell me it's dirty, but I would argue it's just an organized mess. Like, I just have a lot of stuff, and I know where everything is, so, you know, works for me. This here is one of the first things I got when I got to Japan because I'm a big Pokemon fan, so I definitely needed to get this. This is probably my favorite thing, just because my sister gave it to me before coming here. So every time I look at it, you know, it reminds me of home, and whenever I get homesick, it's nice to read. Um, over here is the balcony area. Down there is the downtown area where the mall is and a lot of good places to eat and stuff. Um, but out here is the balcony. Basically, every apartment in Japan has a balcony because they use a washer, but they don't have a dryer, so they just dry everything, um, you know, out on these balconies. Um, as far as the rest of my room, it's nothing crazy, it's just like a small bed. Um, this I did in one of my classes. Um, it was fun for like the first 10 minutes, but then I got really bored. Um, it was nice seeing the master that was teaching us do it because she was really, really good and that was cool. Um, let's see. One of the first things I did when I got to Japan was try and figure out if the movies were in English or in Japanese because I definitely wanted to watch this one here, which was really good by the way. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Marvel and stuff. So this is the closet area, you know, a lot of things, a lot of jackets here. I had to buy like these huge jackets because I didn't expect it to be so cold, the coldest weather I've ever lived in. Uh, yeah. Una de las grandes diferencias entre viviendo aquí en Japón es que nunca se puede poner los zapatos de afuera adentro de la casa. So te los tienes de quitar y lo pones aquí. Usualmente tiene un lugar para donde puedes guardar tus zapatos. Y luego te tienes de poner unas chanclas o unos, unas pantuflas que son específicamente nomás para adentro del hogar. Although I'd be lying if I said that I follow that rule all the time because there's times when I walk out the door and I forget my headphones and I have to go back into my room. Um, so I'll just, you know, instead of struggling to take my shoes off and back on, I know it's only like a second, but I'm super lazy. Um, I just walk in with my shoes on, and the first time I did that, uh, my Japanese roommate was here, and he just turns around, he looks at my feet, he's like, eh? So, yeah, all I could say was just really, like, as I tiptoed, I was like, sumi masen, sumi masen, and then I, you know, leave. Speaking of my roommates, I have four. Um, this one here is my Japanese roommate. And this is my room. Um, over this mountain over here is uh, my German roommate. And that over there is my Chinese roommate. Just kidding about the mountain thing. I jiggle more than Jigglypuff, man. Like, I'm getting really fat here, eating all the food and the gym's too expensive to join. But that might change because next week I made, I might start heading to the gym with this friend I made um, who's part of the weightlifting club here. So, wish me luck, I need it. Cuando elegí a venir a Japón, mucha gente me dijo que aquí en ese país tienen tecnología muy avanzada y que casi viven en el futuro. Y no lo creí hasta que la primera noche que llegué lo pude confirmar porque, miren esto, se abre normalmente. 
pero luego, luego, no sé por qué me fascina tanto eso, y luego uh, aquí esa maquinita se puede usar para calentar el agua como tú gustes, uh, lo puedes poner hasta como 45, un poco más tal vez, y luego lo más bajo que lo puedes bajar es 38, ahí así puedes controlar eh, la temperatura del agua. Another thing I'm gonna miss when I leave and what I like about this apartment is this fancy ass toilet. Like, this thing over here, this little box, controls the bidet. You can warm your toilet seat, which by the way, is a lifesaver right now because it's super cold. So when you know, you gotta do your business, like, it's nice. Um, although, it wasn't always love for this toilet, man. Like, when I first got here, I hated it. It pissed me off, pun intended. Because I didn't understand anything. I couldn't read, well, in all fairness, I still can't read it, but I kind of understand the buttons now a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to miss that part. And then another cool thing it does, for some reason, I got to look into it, but like, when you flush, water comes out of here. I don't know if you're supposed to like wash your hands or anything up in there, but um, I personally don't do it just because like, I got the sink right there, but uh, yeah. So this thing here is called a kotatsu. Basically, it's like a little table with the heater at the bottom and this blanket to keep you nice and toasty like on your, your legs. And then up here you can eat, do your homework, whatever you like, regular the table. Um, at first I didn't know what this actually was because when I had the conversation with my Japanese roommate about this, I walked away thinking that this is where you warmed your blanket up and then you used it like when you go, go to sleep or something. So it wasn't until much later that I realized what this was actually for. And since then, I study here, eat here, you know, especially now during winter where it gets really cold and I don't want to turn the AC on or anything, I mean the uh, heater on or anything. So, um, super useful. Okay, I almost forgot. My favorite thing about living here are these two things. As I have said many times throughout this video, I am a lazy person just who I am so this thing controls the light and you know turn it down um, change the hue the color whatever and then this controls the AC slash heater and these two things are lifesavers because then I can just stay in bed rather than get up and do it I know super lazy now that I think about it actually I thought I was being original by doing dorm tour here but when I was looking into programs to study abroad I looked up this school and this program and one of the things that popped up was this YouTube video of a dorm tour. Um, and it was actually this exact, well not this exact like dorm, but like this place exactly. So I remember seeing everything and now being here and looking at everything and making my own video of it, it's kinda, kinda crazy, kind of like, uh, kinda cool though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next week.